Hi friends, in this video we are going to see how to assemble the parts by using assembly constraint and also how to create the part on position without the giving the assembly constraints. So mostly in automotive we used to create the parts on the proper location so that we can avoid the assembling operation. So in my previous video, I told about the global access system and the working access system. So for a vehicle, we will have common global access system. Depends on the part, your working access system may changes. So this part I have created with the global access system and working access system method. If you want to know about that one, you can check my previous video. So here, we have two different parts, one is top box and another one is cover. So by using assembling operation, assembling workbench, I will I'll tell you how to assemble this part and as also I will tell you how to create the part in the assembled position. So you can avoid the assembling operation. So for this one, we need to go to assembly workbench so let me So this is the top surface needs to come top of this part so just I am hiding this box I am going to give surface constraint so I need to have the contact constraint between these two surfaces so whenever you are going to give going to give assembly constraint the part which we need to move, just click that part surface and then select the part where it has to position. So here the constraint was created, just give update. See this part located on this position. So it came under the same position. It is assembled properly. So in assembly, we have many constraints. <coughs> Here we can give in my Another video, I will explain all these constraints. So, without constraining, I want to create the part in the assembled position. So, for this one, just I'm going to change the position of this cover. So, already I have created this part for 20 mm extrude. Just for cross, I am going to measure this. Right, so that it's twenty point one five six. So here itself, I can able to change my. So in this scenario, just I'm removing this constraint. So already I have created the part by using this point. So I want to increase this y to 40.156 So 
so just done deleting this one so I'm just once again if you see my part is coming on the location this one is because of this point 156 so we can remove this point 6 so that my part will come on the same location if you see my part position was updated here so without giving the constraint my part is on position so this is how your global access system and working access system will help to position the parts hope you have understood this assembling advantage by using the working and the global access system Thanks for watching this video.